Hey everyone, so Devin Sawa has looked at the potential of Halloween 2018 and kills and it could further open up more possibilities for yet another horror reboot. Let's look at it. They all die, but they come back to life. Dude. <laughs> and his career has, you know, been pretty active. He's been a part of you know, the sci-fi Chucky series. And he's one of the few final boys to make it through the entire runtime of the film. But in the sequel, he's pretty much written off. And rumors say that um, he's had conversation with the contract and he might have had some other scheduling going on. He's killed off screen with a brief mention of his character. It would have been nice to see him come back, but I mean, this might make up for it. If they did go through with this, they only credit the first film, you know, like the Hellion films, and it would lead to another bloody franchise. But even with him returning, if he did, I don't think he has the star power or credibility as they generally Curtis would with her fans. And again, it is a very popular franchise. Five films total, so that's not a lot compared to the other franchises. People, I'm sure, are thirsty for more. But he's also known as another horror film, such as Idle Hands and The Fanatic, which was in its own right a comedy, but still. But fans of the franchise can't seem to get enough, including myself, and I could be said for any successful horror film. Now, I've been a fan of the last two films, when it was a trilogy before it became a franchise. Five was actually a pretty good send-off. But these rumors started up a whole petition to make the film. It could just be the start we need to build another deadly foundation. With the talks of him coming back and fans wanting more, it's really only a matter of time before another reboot. They revive this first film anyway, and death just might be closer than you think. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe.